if y'all didn't know, Dollar Tree and Family Dollar are owned by the same company and sometimes they have combined stores. We're going to head to the Dollar Tree side for some Dollar Tree picture frame hacks. I'm excited to share those, so let's get started. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. As we head into the store, Family Dollar is on the left side and for me, Dollar Tree is on the right side. So we're gonna head over to the frame section and they have a pretty decent selection of frames considering that half the store is Family Dollar. You can find pretty much whatever you want or whatever you need, but keep in mind these frames are not high quality. It's not the same thing that you're gonna get at Hobby Lobby or maybe even Walmart or something like that. These are just, you know, they're $1.25 each, but they do serve a purpose and they can really make some super cute DIYs. We're gonna take this four by four floating frame. It has two pieces of glass and I take those out and I remove the little ribbon that was holding it up. I do sand it a little bit because I'm gonna be spray painting it in a second. And I'm taking some cubes that I got from Dollar Tree as well as some tire tumbling blocks, trying to see how I'm gonna make this all come together. And then I paint one of the glass panes black. It's just like chalk paint, black chalk paint. <laughs> I just give it a really good coat and let that dry. And I give the picture frame and the glass candle holder, all from Dollar Tree. I had given them a quick coat of just spray paint so I could give it a base, something to stick to. So when I use this moss colored paint, it would adhere better. I put the glass, second piece of glass on top of the one that I painted, and now I'm trying to get it back inside the frame. And this glass is thin, super flimsy, so do not, do not, just be careful, because there was a couple times where, you know, the glass could have broken, and that wouldn't have been good. I had gotten paint in the grooves of where the glass panes should go, and so I was having to kind of clean it out a little bit. I get it all cleaned out and push it all the way in, so we're good to go. Then I'm taking the tower tumbling block. I'm just using one and I'm painting it with the Waverly chalk paint in the color moss. Is that the one? I no, I'm using celery y'all. The color is celery. For the whole video, it's celery color. <laughs> anyway, I'm painting that Jenga block and that little cube. I don't know why I'm taking so much time showing you the painting, but hey, while we're here, I have a f crafting group on Facebook called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. I'd love it if you join. Link will be below. So anyway, I don't know why I left this much footage in of me painting a little cube, but <laughs> then I added some hot glue. I put the cube in the little bottom and then I'm using the Jenga block to kind of stabilize the back so it has something. I'm using some E6000. I don't really think that was gonna work, but you know, we're using it anyway. And then I'm just kind of measuring to make sure it all fit together. And this is how it turned out. I could not find, for the life of me, I could not find a white chalk marker. I don't know. All I could find was some, like those um, dry erase markers. And of course, none of them were in white, but you get the idea. And I just think it turned out really cute. I feel like you could embellish it all kinds of ways. And of course you could paint it any color you want to fit your home decor, but it's a very versatile piece. And you can like leave little love notes or just reminders for the day, stuff like that turned out really cute. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This video is part of the Dollar Tree Photo Frame DIY collab and I invited three of my friends to join me today and so that we could craft and come up with some unique ideas to use picture frames from Dollar Tree. So crafting with me today is Crafty Art Shack. This, <laughs> she is a hoot. You're gonna love her. Her link is gonna be in the description box below along with the link to Pearl Treasure Designs. She's a new friend and I'm getting to know her. She just opened up a shop with Crafty Art Shack so check out her channel and you'll see all the info, as well as DIY with Aria. I am loving all the new friends that I'm making, and I know you will too, so check out their links below, as well as a link to the playlist. So I know you're gonna love them. I know, I just said it, but I know you're gonna love them, so check it out. For DIY number two, I'm showing you this picture frame, but I don't end up using it. You'll see why in just a moment. Oh, hello, Captain. But I'm taking this mesh trash basket thing, and I am taking my snippers, and I'm going all the way around the base and I'm just kind of detaching it and I'm trying to get as close to the bottom as possible because I don't know how much of this mesh that I'm going to need and so I also have to do the same to the top and again I'm just trying to be as close to the top as possible because I just don't know um, how much I'm going to need and I'm now going up the side you can see I'm just trying to lay it out so that it fits this photo frame and I stretch it and I, you know, maneuver it so that it works. And then I'm like, okay, 
I've, I've got it now I'm gonna cut down to size so that you know it see look at me measuring and stuff like that I had big plans for this <laughs> but um, they didn't really turn out so I took the snippers and you see me cutting it and I want you to notice that it fits at this point it fits you see that it fit but the next day it didn't fit. <laughs> See how it's like, it shrunk, it's smaller. I was gonna put this cute little tray at the bottom. I had plans, that's okay. In crafting, you kind of have to switch gears sometimes. So I got this canvas and I'm gonna use the frame from the canvas. So we're still using a frame from Dollar Tree and I'm removing the canvas. And this is one of their larger ones. I think it's like an eight by 10 or should be, or supposed to be an eight by 10 size. So I'm just removing the canvas. I do keep the canvas because you never know when you can use it for something else, maybe, who knows? Maybe I'll think of something to do with it later on. And apparently I'm going to show you the whole process of removing that can canvas. I don't know why some of this footage is in there. That's funny. See the, the photo, the mesh stuff fits this time. We're good. We're good with it fitting this time, thankfully. So I'm trimming it up just a little bit and I'm taking a stapler and I am going to staple it down. So that way, if it tries to shrink back to a smaller size, hopefully the staples will hold it in place. And I'm stapling it to what is the back of the frame, but it's going to be the front of my project because I'm going to be covering up the, the, the surrounding frame in just a moment. Yeah, this and that, putting that little staple in, that wasn't easy. <laughs> that took a little bit of effort. I'm taking some jumbo craft sticks and I'm measuring them out. I was trying to do one of those like, like a cool corner like that, you know, like that it would look like all professional and stuff, but yeah, that's not how it worked out. It was not fitting. I could not get it to fit. And I was like, okay, we're just going to have to scratch that and we're going to have to go to the next plan. Again, crafting, sometimes you have to be flexible. Figured it out, figured out what I want to do. And now I'm going to paint these jumbo craft sticks with the Waverly chalk paint in the color celery. Remember, all of the projects today are using celery. I did use some masking tape to hold them down to the mat that I was painting on. And then I used a combination of hot glue and E6000, and really it was just the hot glue holding everything together, but then I start assembling the frame. And then I notice like I'm not, it's not lining up, so I'm having to move some stuff around, add some more hot glue. I was gonna try to clamp it and that wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> this particular side over there that was giving me trouble I could not get it to like just stay finally did and then it turns out just fine and then yeah this is gonna be the front I did add a little bow at the top but as you can see I'm using it as a jewelry a holder <laughs> thing my other idea was to have the tray at the bottom. I was going to have a spot for some bracelets, but it is what it is. So this would be really, really great in a small space. So like if you have someone maybe going to college or in like a small apartment, they could use this and hang up their earrings. It's compact. You can make this any color you want. You could put a big old messy bow on the top. You could do it school colors. Maybe put like if they're a cheerleader or something or a soccer player, you could put like a little um, wood cut out in the corners. You know what I mean? Like you could dress it up so easily because this right now for me is a blank canvas. I think it needs a little more oomph. So you tell me in the comments below what else you would add to the, you know, the framework to make it more unique and more your style. The last project for today is DIY number three. And I'm using that frame that I was going to use on the other project. And I cut out some foam board that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm painting it with the Waverly chalk paint in the color celery. Now, when you're painting that, don't be too heavy handed with the paint because it is wet and it is, you're, you know, painting onto like paper. The foam board is kind of like that paper on top. And so it will warp a little bit, but in my case, it's not going to matter because I'm going to clamp it down anyway. But I just give it a coat and I try not to be too thick with it so it doesn't get too wet. And then I made this little decal. No, actually, I didn't make it. I found it on Cricut Sp Design Space and I enlarged it to the size that I needed. A 10 by 10 is what I used. And then I measure it. Look at me trying to measure like I'm going to be professional about this or something. But um, I set it down and then I cleaned the glass pane that was there, put that in. Now, in hindsight, you could have, see how I'm pushing the, the little 
pokey things down, that's going to hold the foam board in just fine. And it doesn't have to worry about it warping anything. But in hindsight, I could have reversed, done my decal, like re mirrored it or whatever, and just attached to the glass. I didn't think about that. You know, whatever. It works either way. I love how this one turned out. I think it is very functional and very affordable. And you can customize this to your home decor and your taste. If you like you know, different look, you can embellish it, you can do all kinds of things. And you can use this, as you see here, I've just put up a fake venue plan, but you could use it for reminders and things like that. Just lots of different things that you can use with it. Very affordable to make and easy. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate the company. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. And if you want to follow me on social media, like here on YouTube or Instagram or over on TikTok where I do dance trends and stuff like that, and sometimes with my husband, my handle is Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye!